Merry Christmas makers. I'm continuing with my little series on past favorite Christmas makes. And this one was from December of 2019, Christmas Ideology 2019. And I titled the blog post, Baby It's Cold Outside. And so I wanted the whole thing to just kind of have a cold, icy feel to it. So I'll talk through some of it and hopefully answer any questions. And then I will also put a link to the blog post in the description for this video, where I discuss in detail all of the different parts of this. So the first thing that I want to point out is that the paper that was released in the paper pack for 2019 was some of my favorite. And it had this wonderful green and kind of gray brown striped paper that I used in the main box. And to start off, this is a divided vignette box. And so it usually has the two squares and then it has usually two long ones that go across here. So I took out the divider that goes across here so that I had uh, a large area and then my two smaller boxes. All right. Now I was inspired by this paper and then look at this plaid. This is one of my favorite plaids. Did I use it on the back? No, I used something else on the back. But oh my goodness, I loved this plaid. So the plaid and the stripes kind of led me down the whole wintry vibe that I wanted to use. So I covered all the sides with the plaid, cover the main box with that stripe, add a little bit of plaid, uh, paper in the back there, a different type of plaid. And then I used kind of a wintry pine and berry background here. And then this is, it was like a scenic postcard that I used for the background on that box. And then all along on the insides of these and along the front here, I used a, like a weathered white wood grain paper for all of those. So that's how I covered it. And then let's go ahead and um, I'll show you on the top. I used one of the little knobs. This is from the Everyday Line and I don't know if it's still available, but I put it on a wood slice with some grit paste and some Distress Rock Candy Glitter. Now let's go to this first box. This is one of the icicles and it was covered with Distress um, I'm sorry, glossy accents, and then I sprinkled it with some rock candy glitter. I put a wood slice in the back, and I um, attached it with a tack nail, and I attached one of these little typed tokens that says Winter Wonder, and I put some white distress paint in there, and then I just took my finger and put some of the opaque uh, grit paste on there and on the little uh, nail, and then sprinkled a little Stress Rock Candy Glitter on there. There really wasn't a lot to this box. I put quite a bit of um, grit paste. I piled it up so it could look like a big bunch of snow in this corner and then mostly some, you know, kind of along the back. And, uh, and then in this front corner, there's a lot of, um, I put collage medium and then a lot of just glitter on the bottom here. I stuck the little trees in there, two little tiny ones and then one of the medium ones. And before I did that, I sprayed each of the trees with Distress Spray Stain in peeled paint. And then I um, put a little bit of collage medium on my finger, or you could do glossy accents, either one. A little bit of collage medium or glossy accents on the just the very outside of the tree. And then I rolled it in some uh, mica flakes. So you want to kind of sprinkle the mica flakes on a surface that you can easily put them back into the container, but will allow you to roll uh, these through and then just let them dry. I took the little slices off of the bottom and went ahead and just glued them into uh, the grit paste on there. And then I painted the deer with distress paint and kind of uh, wiped some off here and there so that they looked worn and vintage. 
and attach them with distress collage medium and let them dry. For the second one, I added more grit paste, opaque grit paste all along the bottom. And then I put three slices of wood and added some more grit paste with distress rock candy glitter, put a little bit of grit paste on some pine cones and another tree in the back corner and one of my little paper dolls. And then I sprayed, I don't know if you can see it, but I sprayed the paper doll with um, Distress Resist Spray and that kind of helped, it helps them kind of stand up a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. And then these are long retired and they may have been even retired in 2019 when I made this, but these were some snowflake adornments that used to be in the ideology line that I have a small stash of, a very small stash, but I went ahead and added those because he had some um, skates that he was holding. And then over here, this side lights up, so it may be a little bit hard to see, but the, the cold does light up. So I'll turn it off and then I'll turn it on so you can see it. And it's kind of hard to see, but I did color those blue, so it would kind of have a blue sheen to it, um, but I wasn't very successful, so I probably should have actually colored this whole thing blue. These are silver stencil uh, chips, and I cut them down. So what I did first was I measured uh, to see how big this section would be um, if I cut them all evenly, as evenly as I could. And then I attach them to a piece of vellum all the way across. I attach them all to a piece of vellum. And then I put in a piece of chipboard on all four sides that it could sit on once I was done preparing this to make it look like ice cubes, you know, or frozen, you know, frozen, a frozen sign or something like that. So this is a piece of chipboard that I put on there and I covered with some of that wood grain paper on the top. And so I got that whole thing measured and put in there. I attached each one of these to a piece of vellum, made sure that it was completely secure on there. And then I laid it on my nonstick mat and I covered the whole thing with Distress Crackle Paint. Okay, the clear rock candy crackle paint just completely slathered it. You might end up doing more than one layer of this, but you really want to get it down into the stencil areas and make sure that it gets in there and it crackles. And then um, on your last run through, you want to sprinkle it with some distress rock candy glitter. And you can see that it has that rock candy glitter in there. And then before you attach it, you want to drill a hole in the back. Okay, and then I wrapped the lights around a popsicle stick and attached it to the back of the box. And then um, I wanted it to shine through and be kind of a bluish color to go with the, the kind of gray and this blue over here. Probably would have been better if I had just colored the back of the vellum <laughs> with a light blue alcohol ink or something like that. I probably would have been more successful than coloring the, the actual lights with alcohol ink, but that's okay. It's still kind of fun and very icy and wintry. Okay. So I really love how it turned out. Then once I glued it on and got it completely attached to the chipboard on all four sides, then I went through with my palette knife and I just slathered it in uh, distress grit paste and more rock candy glitter. Okay, so it would look really snowy. Got my distress grit paste all in there and I attached my people so that they look like they were standing in there. These are baubles that I just put in my fingers with some distress collage medium. I usually just roll them in the collage medium in my fingers and then I dump them right in the uh, rock candy glitter and just shake shake it up and then um, pull them out once they kind of start to dry. If you pull them out too soon, then you'll have fingerprints um, in the glitter and it, that doesn't look so great. So 
if you can leave them in a container with the, the glitter, that's great. I did put a piece of ephemera back here and kind of curled it up a little bit with um, to try and tie in all the pine. And uh, this paper doll from 2019 also had ice skates, so I kept with the ice skate icy theme throughout. And then this tree, I did the same way that I did these, where I colored it with uh, peeled paint, rolled it, all of that. And then I attached the bells, the jingle bells all throughout. I put a little grouping of jingle bells up here at the top. And then you can see that I put little groupings of, and some single ones, but sometimes there were little groupings of three in several places. Uh, where I use the beaded berries, which, you know, are one of my favorites. And I'm sorry they are retired, but I have my stash. And so I colored those with alcohol ink and I think sepia maybe or teak wood. And then um, went ahead and, and glued those in with distressed collage medium as well. And you can see on the little wood slice down there, I put some more uh, grit paste. And then, so it would stand up, I made these fun wood slice um, kind of, I don't know, feet for it, I guess you would call them. And so back in 2019, I, I think the wood slices nowadays are much more mm, uniform, I guess I'd say. Uh, but back in the day, they there were lots of different sizes and sometimes they had imperfections in them which I absolutely love too. So I went through my pack of wood slices and I got the biggest one and then I went up to small and I picked five out so that they graduated from large to small. I glued them all together and then I put a bunch of um, grit paste and I put grit paste so that I don't know if I can show it to you so that it would look like when it was sitting that the snow had kind of piled up uh, on the table. And so I did this on the nonstick mat so that when it would dry, I could pick it up. And, um, and then when you lay it down, it looks like, you know, there's snow piled up on it. So I thought those were kind of a fun way to use the wood slices as feet for my project. So those are all the details for my Baby It's Cold Outside Winter Divided box. So if you have any questions that I didn't cover, as always, please contact me through my blog at playswellwithpaper.blogspot.com. If you look in the column on the right, you will see the little contact section that says if you have questions, contact me there. And if you put in your information and send me a message, I'll get it and I will get back to you as soon as I can to answer any questions or make any clarifications. So I hope that you enjoyed this little walkthrough of one of my favorite makes from 2019 Ideology. And I hope you have a very merry day and a very creative one as well.